Hi guys, today we're going to begin a discussion with quadratics that's a little different than what we've talked about before. We are going to be talking about whether something is a stretch or a shrink of a quadratic vertically. So we're going to kind of look at what it means to be stretch and what it means to be a shrink and how you determine that from looking at an equation. So as I start with this, you'll see that I'm starting with kind of a normal organizer. I'm going to start with kind of big ideas. I'm going to do two ideas about shrink and then two ideas that were stretch. So let's talk about, first of, first of all, the idea that if you're talking about a stretch or a shrink, quadratic gets vertical, it's got to be y equals a times x squared. So that means right here, this value for a can change. It could be any kind of a number. But we'll talk about how a changes and whether that determines if it's a shrink or a stretch. So here's kind of some big ideas. First of all, on this section, we are only going to worry about vertical changes. Only about vertical changes in this section. And everything that we do is going to be compared to y equals x squared or y equals negative x squared. So it's going to get compared to the parent function, and that's kind of what we're going to worry about. Okay, now remember, if it's compared to the parent function, if I have an x and y axis, that means it's either going to open up like this, or it's going to open down like this. So if I have a positive A value, it's going to open up. So let's say, if I can just take out the A maybe, and if it's a negative x squared, it's going to open down. Now there could be another number there besides 1, but just so you get the general idea of what they're shooting for. So let's talk about this idea of shrink and what that means. Just turn my organizer here. Okay, so first of all, we are going to be talking about general form. And as we do, we're going to talk about the A value. So if it's a shrink, then the absolute value of whatever A is has to be between 0 and 1. Now that means that overall, the A value is between negative 1 and 1. Also one thing that's important for you to know is that this, when you have a shrink, is going to make it wider than its parent function. So it's going to be wider than the parent. Also, this is one where it is going to shrink towards the x-axis. Which means that it's going to go away from the y. And I'll give you a sketch in a second so you can see what that looks like. So that's kind of our general ideas about shrinking. The a value that we have has to be between negative 1 and 1. It gets wider. It shrinks towards the x and away from the y. Okay, so let's talk about what it looks like. So if I have an x and a y axis here, and I have a graph that looks like this, if it is a shrink, it is, going, it is getting pushed down on both sides towards the y axis, so it is getting wider, which is part of what we talked about. Now, some examples of this, if I wanted equation examples, y equals 1 fourth x squared would be an example. Okay. 
y equals negative 2 thirds x squared would be another example. Now, the one part we haven't talked about is the factor, so I want to show you how this works. If I have a factor, if my equation was y equals 1 fourth x squared, this is going to be my factor. So my factor would be 1 fourth. Now, the big thing for us is a factor always has to be positive. So in this case, where that a value is negative 2 thirds, when we talk about the factor, we're going to say the factor is 2 thirds. Always take the positive version of that. Okay, so those are the big ideas about shrink. Let's talk about stretch. So if it's a stretch, in the general form that we have, the absolute value of A would have to be greater than 1, which means overall A is larger than 1 or A is smaller than negative 1. Those are kind of the big pieces. Um, this graph is skinnier than the parent function. It also stretches away from the x-axis, which means that it goes closer or towards the y-axis. Okay, so let's talk about what the graph does. So for the stretch, here's my x and y axis. If my graph is here, then it is getting pushed up from the x axis, so it's becoming skinnier. Now, an example of this would be y equals 2x squared or y equals negative 4x squared. Okay, because again, that number in front is bigger than 1 or smaller than negative 1. Now, if we were talking about the factors, just like the last time, that number in front of the x squared. So this one, the factor would be 2. This one, remember, if it's negative, we're going to write it down as positive. Okay, we'll keep practicing on this, and then eventually we're going to move over to horizontal and practice them all together.